Hello, we're very excited about this new release. Let me show you what's new. The first thing I want to show you is the improved performances of your live apps. So how much faster a page loads when a user of your app navigates to one of your apps pages. So here is before the update. Let me load the page. And you see that I'm at around 712 milliseconds. Now with the new architecture, you can see I'm at 78 milliseconds. Now back to the previous way of handling page changes, if I navigated so I didn't load uh, it wasn't the first time the user landed on the app. I just navigated to a different page. Here you see the XHR at 747 milliseconds. Now let me do the same thing with the new way of handling page changes. If I click on here, XHR is now only 22 milliseconds. And we also have updates inside the WeWeb Editor, a few changes, um, most noticeably in the ad panel. So we clean this bar a little bit. Now you have the basics with all the most basic elements like the containers, data grid, tables, inputs, all of those are here. Then you have an assets panel where you can see all the your available all the libraries that are available in the project so the project libraries elements from the project library so in this case you have uh, a few components here in green and then a couple of templates and also all the other libraries that were added to this project so here i have a components library my share library starter kit which corresponds to the libraries that i added here that are available in my project this panel has changed a little bit. You can see now you can also get um, library uh, projects from the marketplace. So use UI kits and templates from the marketplace. And then this works pretty much as it used to. You can revert back to a previous version. You can open the project directly. So that can be really helpful. And here this will be for when um, if you've added uh, marketplace uh, templates as well, you will be able to select where the library is coming from. The libraries panel has changed a little bit as well. Now we have uh, structured it that way where you have the components here, all your components here, all your element and section templates are here. Um, then you have the classes, which you can, um, you can add folders now to group classes by folder. And finally, the topographies, colors, and spacings are now here. The Figma import has not changed, so you can uh, continue to work as usual. Now back to the ad panel, we had the basics, we had the assets, which are your library assets, and the multi-page sections, which we tried to make a little bit clearer. So here you can see uh, the sections where there are several instances of the same section on multiple pages. So this helps you see in one glance um, which sections are multi-page sections. And here uh, you can see your all the pages in your app and all the sections per page in your app. So here, for example, on the trumpet page, you can see that I'm using uh, the navbar, an instance of the navbar, and also a section. So that is not an instance that is uh, unique to that page. And finally here, when you add plugins, so here we have added uh, the Superbase uh, auth plugin and the charts plugin. So as a result in the ad panel, we have access uh, to uh, chart UI elements and Superbase auth elements. And these are displayed in a weird way right now because I'm, uh, I'm not in a production environment. But the idea is to clean this uh, ad panel to make things much clearer for you. Okay, we also have added a lot of features to give you more control. 
So what do these features look like? Uh, number one, we have the option now to save a page as a draft. So here, draft mode is enabled, the page is, uh, is yellow. Um, so when you publish your app, the page for tests will not be published. You can disable draft mode, then if you, you will need to republish your app to make it live um, and available to the public. So enable, disable, draft mode. That's the first thing. Second thing is in the more section here in your app files, you can now set a path. So here, for example, you can upload your own sitemap and as long as you tell it where it should reside, so in our case, we use slash sitemap.xml, then when you publish your app, uh, this file will um, take precedence over the default sitemap that we create, we usually create. Uh, same with, you know, you can have a cu custom robots TXT file manifest for and service worker for your PWAs. Uh, you can also, it can be helpful if you want to um, add Apple Pay to your app, for example, where you need to, um, you, Apple requires you to, to add a file in a specific path. So you can now do this. We have also added this headers section here, which mean that you now have full control over uh, who can embed your WeWeb app in an iframe. So you can allow it for everyone. That's the default uh, setting. You can al allow it only on projects that have the same domain name as your WeWeb project, or you can block it completely. You can also add custom headers. Here we have an example with a content security policy. Um, so there you go. You can save this. Just be aware that if your app is live, when you update the headers, it will be updated directly to the live project. So you need to be sure about what you're doing here. Now, a couple of last things about control for the mobile app, the PWA. You can now disable completely the PWA so that when you publish your WeWeb app, there's no manifest, there's no service worker. And that, that will prevent users from installing the app on their device, so their computer or phone or, or, or tablet. You can enable it. Uh, that's uh, by default, it is enabled. And now we have added the option to choose the display you want, the PWD display you want. You can now add animations without writing code in WeWeb. So here, for example, we're on a text element and we can do a couple of things. We can say, we can ask WeWeb Copilot. So we can say, um, can you make this element um, grow larger and larger and then smaller again fairly slowly? Let's see what that generates. Okay, you see here in the keyframes editor, which by the way, you can close and reopen. You see we have th three keyframes, keyframe one, keyframe two, which shows that it's going, getting bigger and keyframe three, it's uh, back down. So let me play this. All right. Looks like it's working nicely. If I wanna edit it, I have a few options. I can, change this. I can move my frames around if I want to. Um, I can change the percent and this will be in seconds. So you see I'm from zero to five seconds. I can change the number of seconds here. So I can say I want it to be much slower. So I'll change it here in no code. Um, I can also say, in fact, I don't want this to be infinite. I only want this to happen three times and I want it to happen faster. So now if I stop this, and I play it again, one, two, three. If I wanted to, I could also import keyframes. So here are the keyframes created by WeWeb Copilot that I can also edit here if I wanted to. So here, if I change to 20% and import, you see that keyframe two moved to the left. 
the WeWeb Marketplace has arrived. And now when you create a project, you can choose a template from the marketplace. Here you can search, for example, for JP's uh, WePod template, and you can create the project in your workspace. Once you've added the project to your workspace, you can, it's your own copy, so you can work with it as a, a starting point for your project, or you can use it as a library if it's a UI kit, for example, and add it as a library to use the other projects in your workspace. You can also submit templates and UI kits to the marketplace if you'd like to. Um, here you will need, you will be prompted to create a profile. All your workspaces will be displayed here. So I have many, uh, you will most likely have less. If it is in the marketplace profiles, it means you've already created your profile and you can already submit um, a template or a UI kit from this workspace. So here, if I submit, I will be able to decide if I submit a template, library, select the project I want to share with the marketplace and click continue. I'll be, you'll be invited to, to fill out forms basically. Uh, we wanted to release the payments today. It will have to wait a couple of weeks, but the payments are coming for now. It's uh, sharing for free. All right, that's it for an overview of the latest updates in WeWeb. There are, of course, lots of other smaller uh, new features to look at and to explore. We hope you love this release. And as always, don't hesitate to share your feedback with us, good or bad. Tell us how we can improve. Tell us what you love.